Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about the concept of personas uh, within Matomo Analytics. So this is just uh, basically based on uh, custom dimensions. Um, for the sake of this example, I just uh, copy and paste one example over here coming from W3Schools, uh, which is just showing out, um, let's say, uh, a list like this. Um, so a persona is like a, a profile of a given uh, individual in which uh, you set uh, different characteristics such as, uh, let's say, the color of the hair, the age, the gender, and the passion, the job position, and that kind of thing. So in my case, I just created uh, two drop down menu like one uh, specifying the gender and the other one specifying uh, the age. And after, in terms of source code, as you can see, I just do like a mere uh, copy and paste on which I added some IDs for each of the options and stuff over here. And then here I added my Matomo uh, container. So nothing, uh, nothing crazy. Um, and of course, the idea uh, behind this is to have a profile such as this one for which you get the gender and you get the age. Okay, so nothing, uh, nothing crazy. Um, so uh, you need for this to create some custom dimension at the visit level, not the action level, because those stick with the individual. So that's why uh, they need to be defined at, at the, let's say, the visit level. So you need for this to go over here to click on website, and then you, click, you need to click on custom dimensions. And here you create them over here and not there. And then uh, in terms of uh, tag, uh, what is special with custom dimension is that you need to send them along with an action. So uh, it makes no sense to send them with a page view because you are already on the page. So probably the safest way you want to go for is the track event. Uh, so you need somehow to add an additional action to be measured just after the custom dimension. So in my case here, I just added the script, which is this one. So pack the shed custom dimension, custom dimension ID equal one, you know, to say, okay, I want to send it to the number one. And then the value correspond to the uh, text of the element on which I clicked on. Then I send my uh, track events. And then over here, I have my trigger, which is nothing more than uh, you react if a click ID happens on a an ID element which contained the information gender and I did the same thing for uh, the age. So uh, how does it look like for real? So let's imagine that I land on this page. I'm a male, so I'm just clicking over here. As you can see, um, a push is, is sent. So this push is going to erase the other one because as I just said, it's defined at the uh, visit level. So that's the reason why it's going to erase the other one and then I can specify as well uh, my um, my age. So here now I become male, and then I'm uh, 37. So in my case, 36. And then as a result, it's gonna change over here. Uh, not that this example is just based on um, how to say. Um, on the menu, but typically you could as well do it uh, differently, such as someone is visiting your website, some specific URL, like the URL dealing with people who have an interest for companies or interest for contact or interest for, uh, what could we say, uh, general information. And you could, of course, label those people according to the pages uh, category that they have a look at. Uh, once it's done, well, of course, you get uh, those information over here with the different uh, age genders. So it's going to help you create some pie chart in order to identify um, what is the, let's say, the, ah, the main uh, age category, having a look at your website and so on and so forth. So just to let you know, uh, don't stick with only those options. Like if you don't have a menu in order for the people to indicate their age don't stick with only this position. Uh, typically, you could have some pages which are just related to kids, for example, or just to, uh, let's say, young adults. And you can just decide and if someone is going to look at those pages, then it's going to be a person which belongs to those uh, criteria of age. OK, so people do not necessarily need to interact with a menu in order for you to send uh, the custom dimension associated to it. You can as well use the URL by which people are having a look at in order to send those custom dimension to Matomo. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.